In this lesson, we're going to do what I consider the most basic ear training for improvisers ever. All right, we're going to take a look at the C major scale, and we're going to be playing against a single chord vamp or backing track. And we're going to listen to what each note does, what kind of energy it has against the backing track uh, in order to kind of figure out the best ways to make phrases that, that actually have a normal curve or contour that, that tend to make sense. All right, so we start playing the root of the C major scale. All right, that's the root of the scale. It's also the first note in the C major triad. It doesn't have a lot of energy. It's, it's pretty good just sitting there. The second note of the scale, that note actually, you know, the energy wants to go to a chord tone. So down to the root. Feels a little bit better against the third, All right? The third, remember that a major chord is the root, third, and fifth notes of a major scale. Being a chord tone, that actually feels pretty good to sit on. The fourth note, that's got a lot of energy, right? It's a half step away from the third, so it really wants to go down. Or, sounds good going up to the fifth, too. The fifth is the last of our three chord tones for this idea. All right, and we're, it's, it's fairly static, right? The sixth, you know, nice resolution down to the fifth, or to really any chord tone. I mean, that's the thing is that you're not having to go stepwise, but it's a good way to illustrate this idea. The seventh, right, you feel that energy, it wants to go into the root. Right, so if I play a simple phrase, Right? That sounds kind of like a question because there's no resolution to it. That phrase actually ends up resolving because I'm going root, two, three, and then root. Right? That guy's got the four. Okay, and then we relax it into the third. That was a six, five, six, seven, root. Two, root. Now, this isn't the only way to use these notes. And if we were playing over a more jazzy setting, that seventh and the second, which we'd consider a nine, they'd be pretty cool sounds to use. But for the sake of just using really simple melodies, right, we want you to get used to hearing how phrases end. And the, the notes that actually uh, give them energy to keep moving forward and then how they actually relax against the harmony all right so this is but one way of looking at phrase building but for me to be able to ask a question and then answer the question all right that's a pretty important thing and if we get you hearing that in the beginning even playing something as boring as a major scale over this backing track your phrases will start making more sense. So play with this idea. Um, really think about like if you're asking somebody a question and how they would answer. If someone says, did you take the trash out? Your natural inflection, whatever that would be, all right, that's the question because it's not resolved. And your answer when you speak to someone is gonna resolve it. All right, simple ways to build phrases. Uh, it gets you in touch with the sound of the chord and the, and the sound of the notes against the chord. Uh, and then you can build on more sophisticated sounds after that.